Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. Today is gonna be a Stony Ridge quick tips video. This is not a farming video, but this is something that probably applies to 90% of you guys out there. How many of you have stink bugs getting in your house? Those little stinker stink bugs. Right now you're gonna see a little picture of a stink bug. Those little critters come in the spring and in the fall, and mating season right now is in the fall, I do believe, and they're all over the side of my house. We've got a quick solution to show you, well, several quick solutions to show you on the Stony Ridge Quick Tips video today. So come along as we show you how to keep stink bugs out of your house, off of your house, and if you do get them in your house, the easiest way to dispose of them without getting the nasty stink on you, all right? Okay guys, so if you're watching this video, if you're continuing to watch it, you probably have stink bugs in your house, around your house, and it's that time of year. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you several different techniques. The first technique, I'm going to go from hard to easy. So the first technique is to get yourself some isopropyl alcohol, a spray bottle, just like this. A little, I'll post links to all this stuff down in the video description for you so you can just click it, boom, get done, buy it. And what we have here is some cedar wood essential oil. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your alcohol, very simply, open up your little spray bottle, open up your alcohol. We're just going to make enough for demonstration purposes today because I've got a better way. It's an easier way. We're going to take and we're going to put a little bit of this isopropyl alcohol. And this is basically because the cedar wood essential oil won't mix with water. Oil and water don't mix. So the cedarwood oil you want to put, I guess if you put, this is a 32 ounce uh, capacity container, you probably want to put an entire 10 cc's, 10 milliliters of this uh, essential oil in here. So we're just barely filling it up right now and you can see I'm putting, oh, several drips in there and that mixes up with that isopropyl alcohol just great, absolutely great. Now with the whole world falling apart right now, it's kind of difficult to get isopropyl alcohol. I'm squirting all the water out that I had in here before, and we'll put this guy on. This is a, again, a Zep Professional Commercial Sprayer, okay? We're going to pump it until we get a little bit, okay? We're starting to get it, and you can smell the cedar wood on here, okay? It's a known fact. Cedar keeps bugs out of things. Cedar keeps bugs out of clothes. Cedar keeps bugs out of fence posts. Cedar works. So cedar essential oil, what you do is you take the cedar essential oil and we'll go over here to the house and I'll show you. This is the best stuff and we'll show you that in just a second. Let's go over to the house. Here we are on the side of the house and we live in a 14 by 80 mobile home here on our farm. We bought this mobile home for 3,500 bucks. Our house costs 3,500 bucks. Until we get our land paid for, that's where we're gonna live and then we'll build our house. So we're living cheap. We don't live an extravagant life. That's why I'm showing you the essential oil method and then I'll show you the fancy method. So basically you take your spray bottle and you squeeze this tight until you get kind of a, a blast, a puff of the essential oil versus the alcohol. Now the alcohol is basically a medium to get it out of the container onto the surface of whatever it is that you're going to spray. Now beware, test a spot before you go spraying it on something because you don't want to stain your siding or anything. I've already tested myself a spot. So we've got a little bit of isopropyl in here and what we'll do is just kind of spray. Just kind of go down the side of the house and you may have to do this several times over the course of the spring and the fall to keep the stink bugs out. Your house will smell like Christmas, really will. Now if you've got gutters that are way up high, then you want to make your adjustment, then you want to shoot your gutters way up high. So this is something that will help keep the stink bugs out and also make your house smell like Christmas. You don't want your hand to smell like Christmas for five days, so that's why I have a rubber glove on. Now let's go check out the fancy stuff that really, really works well. And I will say, if you take 
this mixture up here that, that basically I'll post a link down to it in Amazon. If you put that in one of these containers, you'll get a lot better use out of it. Well, let's check it out. Earl makes a good <laughs> prop stand. I love this old tractor, man. We got some work to do on this tractor for sure. This is the main reason why I'm wearing this rubber glove. So this is called EcoSmart. EcoSmart Organic Home Pest Control for Indoor and Outdoor Use. And you see, it's got a picture of cockroaches and ants, but it works, and fleas, but it works for stink bugs. Kills and repels over 100 invading species and kills on contact. We're not spraying our stink bugs in order to kill them, but this is a way you could do it. I will advise you, if you use this pump sprayer, and I'm going to push it right now, you're going to get some on your hands. You see that puff, that puff that comes out? You're going to get it on your hands, okay, guys? It stinks. So the only option you have is puffing it out and it, it really natural ingredients is all it is in here we have clove oil rosemary oil thyme oil other ingredients and phenyl propionate i don't know it says eco smart safe around pets and children non-toxic so i wouldn't drink it <laughs> unless you wanted a tummy ache let me show you what we do on the house with this this is awesome it keeps ants away it keeps stink bugs away it keeps those uh, those pesky ladybugs so there are ladybugs that are invasive there's ladybugs that occur naturally and then there's this ladybug i think it came from japan and they're invasive i tore the wall out of an old house about i don't know about two years ago and it was full that deep inside the walls of ladybugs this works again eco smart i'll post a link down there in the video description let me show you how i apply it and after that we'll show you how to capture stink bugs in your house and dispose of them without getting the stink on you okay I'm around the back side of my house right now and there I can count one two three four five six seven ten <laughs> ten stink bugs stuck to the outside of my house they will be non-existent after about a day of having this smell and it smells like menthol almost so all I do is just take it up and spray right around areas that the stink bugs might be going now stink bugs want to hide in areas that have like clothing and cloth and stuff like that so you want to keep shoes and stuff like that buttoned up if you've got shoes on your porch take a little shot of this spray it in your shoes it might even keep your feet from stinking if you got if your old hubby has some stanky feet or your wife it keeps them out it works it actually works now i'm going to show you the best way to capture a stink bug and i want to thank my friend aaron aaron thank you so much for showing me this technique the best way to capture stink bugs when they get in your house so that you don't have to smell the stupid things on your fingers for the next three days i'll show you it's so simple we're on the porch and there's our target you see that little dude all I have is an old Gatorade bottle. You can use a water bottle. You can use a Pepsi or a Coke bottle, whatever you want to use. That's all I have. And what we're going to do is really quick, really neat, and so simple. And I'm surprised I've never thought of it before. Again, thank you, Aaron, if you're watching this. So you take your bottle and you just tap it right underneath the stink bug. And one flew on my arm just now, too. Ah! Sorry, guys. I was viciously attacked by a stink bug while I was doing that. <laughs> Let me show you again real quick. So you take your bottle, you go right beneath where the stink bug is, you tap, and boom. Again, you take your bottle and you just tap right up underneath them and they bloop, they drop right in. Check it out. There's one. Boom. In. Boom. In. Make sure it's got a little bit of water or soda or whatever it was in there. Put them in there. If you don't want to smell them, immediately put the cap back on your bottle. And there's all your stink bugs right there. They'll suffocate and they'll die. So that's it, guys. That's how you get rid of stink bugs in your house. That's how you keep them off your house. So I got to go. I got to go spray this stuff all over the outside of the house. It smells like menthol. It's just a fact of life. You're going to have to deal with the smell. But I give the house one coating per spring and one coating per fall. And that totally stops the stink bug problem. So now... I got to get to work. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip. That is a super duper easy way to control stink bugs. Just leave this on the back side of your countertop. And whenever you see one, go up there and tap it. i had been catching them in toilet paper, catching them in paper towels and napkins and getting the stink on my fingers. And ugh. Do that. You never have to smell them. Cap them off and wait till you see another one. Guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. Be sure you pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel, and watch us build the farm. 
All right? Well, Woo! come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.